Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to paint long red fur, like that you would see on a fox, or even a dog like a corgi. So start off by gathering your reference photos, or you can just follow along with this tutorial. So I'm gonna be painting on thick watercolor paper that I have primed and taped to a sturdy surface, and I'm gonna be painting with oil paints, though this method is easily adapted to acrylics, even digital painting. So I tend to use an assortment of brushes like you can see here. Some are large rounds and filberts with a few detailing brushes. So I always get questions about the exact brands of brushes that I use. I guess some people think that that might be the secret to success, but to be honest, the brand of your brush doesn't matter so much when you're getting started. Grab brushes from your local dollar store, as long as it means you're starting. That is a great place to start and they can still be very useful. So the other thing I'm working with is oil paint here, and I'm working with two different brands typically, and a glazing medium called Liquin. So let's get started. I always start by sort of sketching in where the main shadows will go. And this helps to create a map of sorts to work with. I use dark paint here and loose strokes with a large brush, so I'm not worrying about being perfect at all, just mapping things out. Next up, I'm mixing a medium tone that I will use to fill in most of the painting, save for the brightest areas. Foxes have gorgeous, rich, rusty colored fur, so my base layers are gonna reflect that. With fur, it's important that you start darker than you intend because you're gonna end up detailing the fur with lighter tones later. Then I fill in the brighter parts of my fur with my medium tone paint mixed with a bit more white so it's lighter than the previous areas. Work with larger brushes at this point so that you can cover more area and don't get caught up with the details too early. Now I'm transitioning into building up the fur texture. Working with a smaller brush now, begin brushing in the fur with a lighter color, working wet into wet. Pay close attention to your reference photos. You have to stroke your brush in the direction that the fur grows for it to be realistic. Then I grabbed a liner brush and went in with a much lighter tone to start detailing those individual hairs. Because we're working into the wet paint below here, it'll soften the look so that the brush strokes look a lot more organic and soft.
Then it's time to define the fur a bit more with some dark paint. Pay attention to where your shadows will fall and work to define those fur chunks. Because I'm working with oil paint that tends to stay wet for a long time, I go through with a dry brush and very lightly blend out my brush strokes, always stroking in the direction that the fur grows. From here, I let the painting dry before moving into the final detail phase. Working with that fine liner brush again and some light paint, brush in those individual hairs to give it a truly realistic look. You can go in with darker paint too to define it even further. Now let the painting dry completely. It cannot be wet whatsoever for this next phase. Your fur is looking good, but it's looking a little dull. We want beautiful, vibrant fox fur. So we're gonna glaze the painting to amp up the saturation. Now I use a product called Liquin, and there's a link in my description to where you can buy that exact product. And I use it to create my glaze. Sorry for the glare here. This glaze is super glossy. So what I did is I brushed on a thin layer of glaze first, then went in with some spot coloring to adjust the final look. I added more yellow golden tones to where the highlights are and some purplish tones to the shadows. I then went into the glaze that's still wet with a few final highlights with my liner brush really just to make things pop. The last step is to peel off the tape and then you're all done. So before you run off and go start painting, you should check out my free guide that I created that tells you how to start using Instagram for artists. It is 33 pretty amazing and actionable tips so you can start building a passionate audience that's gonna become customers. Imagine waking up in the morning and seeing that you made a sale overnight. Pretty amazing, right? So grab your copy of the free guide in the description of this video. Happy painting!